This video is going to cover the topic of equation tape diagrams. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video is how do we use and create equation tape diagrams? And we've used tape diagrams before. We used them when we worked on ratios. And tape diagrams are just a model, right? So we use them for ratios, we're gonna use them for equations. They're a model that represents some sort of math situation. And equation tape diagrams specifically help us find missing values. Here are two different equation tape diagrams. Each one of them represents one of these two equations or number sentences. So let's determine which is which. The one on the left is split into five groups and each group has two in each of those little sections. When I look at my two choices, one of them has five groups of two totaling 10. So this matches this tape diagram. The one on the right has two sections. One has two and the other has eight. So that better matches this number sentence, right? And in both of our number sentences, we have a total of 10. And you can see here represented, I'll draw these little boxes here, represented here is the total 10. So that's where we see that part of our equation. So each of these equations matches one of the tape diagrams very nicely. Let's think if we can come up with an equation that matches this tape diagram. So I have four sections, each one has the number three, and I know it's a total of 12. So just think for a moment and record a number sentence that would match. I actually thought of two. So the first one is that I could say this is three plus three plus three plus three to total 12, right? There's threes, I see four of them. I'm gonna add each of those up until I get a total of 12. The other option, of course, is that I know that there are four groups of three, so I could just do four times three, um, and that would be a total of 12 as well, right? So there are two equations that I was able to write. Okay, so going the other direction, let's take a moment and try to draw our own tape diagram that would match the number sentence three plus six equals nine. Does it look something like this, right? A section of three plus a section of six with a total below of nine. If so, that's great, right? We now know the basics for equation tape diagrams. So now we're gonna mix things up a little bit. All right, so I have a tape diagram with a three, an X and a total of 15. And I want to think about an equation or some equations I could write to represent this tape diagram. So take a moment and decide what you see and how you might write that as an equation. The first thing that comes to mind for me is that I could take three, add my mystery number, and know that that's a total of 15. Right? But some of you might have written it the other way. Maybe you saw that our mystery number plus three equaled 15. And then I'm thinking about our fact family, something you did in elementary school, and I know that I could rewrite this using subtraction, right? So I know that 15 is my total. If I subtract three, it would tell me my value of x. Or similarly, right, I could take my 15 and subtract the x and know that I would get three. And finally, I could actually just say, well, my missing value of x, I don't know what it is, but I know it's what I get when I do 15 minus three. All of these are different ways to represent this one tape diagram. What about this one? So I have a diagram split, split into sections with X, a missing number, something in each spot, and there's a total of 20. So think about one way or multiple ways that you might be able to write this as an equation. My first thought is that all of those X's together total 20, so X plus X, plus x plus x is a total of 20. But I also think I could just write that as saying I have four times x. I have four groups of x to equal 20. But then again, thinking about fact families, I could say, well, the whole thing is 20. And if I divide it into four sections, each section would leave me with the value of x. And you might be thinking that this is not super necessary for you, right? You know that X is five, these are friendly numbers, and that's totally true. Using an equation tape diagram might be a strategy that comes in handy though, 
when you don't know the answer right away. And I'm showing you really basic examples, right? We can use this when equations get trickier. Let's see if we can use what we know to draw these two equations in our tape diagram. So I have one for each of them. Um, let's start by doing three plus y equals 18 on the left. And think about how you might break that down. Does yours look something like this? I have two sections, I have three and I have y, and when I add them together, it's a total of 18. Now let me try the one on the right. This one says three times y equals 18, so this should look different. This time I need to have three sections, as equal as I can make it, and each one is worth a value of y. But again, the total is 18, so they have that in common. Now I want you to try it. So this is your turn. I'm gonna leave you these two spaces and I want you to model how you're going to represent five times x equals 15 and five plus x equals 15. And make sure that I can see your um, images clearly on your page when I look at your assignment. And remember the essential question was how do we use and create tape diagrams? This is just the beginning of us exploring this tool. Um, so make sure you have any questions with you in class and we'll be sure to practice this more together.